We're at the Concordia Summit. I'm with Andrew O'Brien. He is Special Representative for Global Partnerships at the U.S. Department of State. Drew, yes. thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks, Claudia. So the Global Partnerships Initiative, can you tell us a little bit more about its mission? And it started in 2009, correct? It did. Yeah. It did. It had some roots um, in different offices in the mm -hmm. State Department mm -hmm. in, in years prior to mm -hmm. that. But um, it, in, in 2009, it was formalized mm -hmm. as an office mm -hmm. uh, that reports to the Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. So I am, uh, I think I'm the third special representative mm -hmm. um, in this position. We're the, we're the entry point mm -hmm. for private sector, public sector, civil society, uh, and their collaboration mm. on any number of issues. Uh, we have some core issues that we work on that my, my predecessors began. Mm -hmm. We continue some of that work and we're in the process now as we transition with the new secretary mm -hmm. um, of discovering some new needs that are out there in the world. Great. And so being at Concordia, obviously investing in youth is a huge topic. Um, is youth coming in terms of empowering youth unemployment? Is that has that become one of the you know topics that you're addressing? It is, in fact, youth youth uh, employment, youth opportunity. Uh, Secretary Kerry and President Obama mm -hmm. have both, if you've listened to what they've said over the past, the secretary in the past mm -hmm. several months, and the president now for several years, they consistently, no matter where they go in the world, are underscoring. Uh, the need to address issues of youth mm -hmm. and you do that through opportunities for employment, mm -hmm. access to employment, uh, opportunities and access to education mm -hmm. and we shouldn't stop there because there are things we can do culturally and otherwise that can um, mm -hmm. connect people and that's what we need to do. We need to connect them at a very young age because that's yes. the world we live in now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of, I mean, obviously we were just talking about it's just been four months since transitioning yeah. from your uh, you know, role in Massachusetts now. Um, to now a much more global role uh, in terms of you know being in the public sector all these years and being you know P3s public private partnerships can you share um, examples of or, or just your the significance that you place on working with the private sector and P3s in general oh for sure and it's you know that is the, from the uh, perspective of being in the public sector being in government yeah, yeah. One of the reasons, there's many reasons why public-private partnerships have come together. One of the reasons why our office came together was because economic aid or aid in general to other countries, the nature of that has changed mm -hmm. um, over the last several decades. I mean, we had a very, for a long time, we had a very Cold War mm -hmm. method of assisting developing countries and other countries. Mm -hmm. As that straight-up financial aid has mm -hmm. changed or diminished, mm -hmm. um, we have brought private partners in. Mm -hmm. to supplement it and it's actually it's a different kind of engagement because it brings people together mm -hmm. um, employee to employee mm -hmm. CEO to CEO and it's um, so it's we, we broadly call it economic statecraft mm -hmm. um, and it gives us advantages they take advantage of our network we take mm -hmm. advantage of their network and when we collaborate uh, it's it's just a matter of opening up whole new worlds for, for both sides yeah, so. definitely and I just, um, you know, in talking, just out of curiosity too, just because I am biased also about women's topics and women's empowerment um, and youth, right. it's been a sort of a common theme in terms of investing in, um, in education uh, with young people and especially developing parts of the world. Um, are you, are women's issues coming up at all in, you know, in the global partnerships? Very much division? so. In fact, um, we have a number of, we do um, several large pillars of work and then we have a series of smaller things that mm -hmm. Uh, we cultivate and maybe pass off to another operation or uh, things we try and grow. We have women's entrepreneurship programs mm -hmm. in many, many places, mm -hmm. Africa being the most prominent. Mm -hmm. And I actually, uh, w last month, was in Africa for the um, AGOA meeting and we had a side event for, for what we call the African Women's Entrepreneurship Program. Mm -hmm. And it's fascinating and it's, you know, this is, these are not handouts. Mm -hmm. This is showing women and showing young entrepreneurs how to, how to grow a bit, start a business, grow yeah. it, um, and how to sustain it. Right. And it's fascinating stuff. Yeah. And, and you know, my last question is, you know, when it comes to again the private sector, public, you know, big companies, governments, and then you know civil society, especially social entrepreneurs, and in terms of you know for 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 younger entrepreneurs uh, that want to sort of form these types of partnerships or get their ideas pushed through, um, you know, what is sort of any any um, advice on the best ways for them to sort of you know push their topics through when it comes to you know approaching the government 
Um, you know, it's just any thoughts there. The best way to do that, and we do a lot of entrepreneurship yeah. work, we do a lot of science and technology work. One of the things we're trying to do is how do we uh, help people grow and cultivate businesses mm -hmm. and have them along the way fix the world's issues yeah. and, and chip away at our problems. The best way for them to succeed is to network with one another, mm -hmm. to network with government, mm -hmm. um, be prepared to fail mm -hmm. sometimes because that's where the best idea, the best next idea can yes. come from. And uh, don't be afraid to sort of dive in head first. Excellent. And there's a lot of people who want to help. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank Claudia. You for being